Lenten. Okay, so I'm just waiting for my friend to get here to open up the shop. Um, today we're going to be painting the brake calipers on the car. Um, and then I've also got another surprise that, which is in that big box. So once we get in there, um, I'll jack up the car straight away. You don't really need to see that because it's pretty easy to do. So I'll jack it up, I'll get it ready and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so now the car's up on stands. We're ready to start prepping for the paintwork. It's really hot out here and I'm sorry if I'm squinting from the sun, but it's a bit sunny. Okay, so car, up on stands, we got it ready. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start, I'm just going to paint uh, this bit here and then probably only halfway around. I don't think I need to go the whole way around to the back. Um, just because no one's going to see it, it's pretty much just for show anyway. It's nothing, you know, performance related, it's just for show. So I'm just going to paint the front and a bit of this side. I'm not going to worry about doing this, so just this bit. So yeah, we'll start getting that prepped, ready to start painting. So we go to the, the goodies box, have a look in here. And what I'm going to need first is the wax and grease remover and I've got a scrubbing brush. So that's going to be the first thing we do. Um, I've actually got a brush here, which the brush we're going to start, we're just going to brush off any of the, you know, the major dirt on it and stuff like that. And then the wax grease remover, take off all the little stuff and yeah, we'll get into it. Okay, so sorry if you can't really see, it's a bit dark uh, in here because it's too bright out here and the camera won't focus on it properly. But pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to quickly give it a quick brush, get all dirt and stuff off it. My car's a bit dirty, so the cough, of course the brake caliper is going to be dirty. Um, they're going to have lots of dust and lots of brake, well I guess dust. <laughs> um, so we'll get all that off and then we'll get the wax grease remover, we'll give it a bit of a scrub. So I'm going to just work on this one wheel, I'm just going to show you this one wheel instead of showing you all four. So I'll show you one, but I'll do the exact same thing to four, so just remember that when you, if you go to do it yourself or whatever. So let's start brushing. Okay, so that actually took off a lot of dust. I'm surprised how clean it actually looks now. Okay, so now we're going to start, we'll get onto the wax and grease remover. This is just super cheap auto wax and grease remover, pretty cheap, pretty basic, doesn't really matter. You can use whatever you want. I was going to get degreaser as well, but I couldn't find that. So we'll just go over with this first. We'll give it some sprays on there, scrub it off, um, and then, and then we get a microfiber towel and just sort of give it a wipe down uh, wax and grease as well, just to see if we get anything else off. Okay, so we scrubbed it, microfiber towel, wax and grease, again. So look at all that stuff we've just taken off. And you don't want that getting in your paint because it won't stick properly. So we're going to wipe it all off. Okay, so look at everything that just come off then. That's why we want to do that. Okay, so the next step is we're going to get... So it's got these scrubbing pad things. They're, um, they're like a durable nylon. I guess it's it pretty much scratches the surface up ready for paint so things will stick to it a bit better. So we're just going to scratch it up with one of them um, just, to, just to make the paint stick a bit better and then we'll uh, prime it. So that's done now. I've given it a quick scratch up. So now again I'm just going to brush all the dust that I've just created. I'm going to brush as much as I can off. And then, again, I'm going to go over wax and grease remover. Just to make sure there's nothing on there for when I go to prime it and stuff. Okay, so that's done now. So now we're going to just tape it up and get it ready for priming. Okay, newspaper, some tape, which I need to open. Okay, now tape up all the areas you don't want to paint, so I'm going to tape all in here and around here, and then I'm going to newspaper up this uh, area, because I don't want paint going all in there.
Okay, so we've taped up the whole surround of the part I want to paint. So now we're just going to do the area with the newspaper so no overspray happens. Okay, now we've just uh, finished cutting that up and pushing it back. So now it's time to prime. Now what I've got here is again Super Tube Auto. It's just an etch primer um, for metal and stuff. So that's what we're going to spray with today. We we'll do one coat of that. I think that's all you got to do. Okay, so we've got to do two coats. Two coats with one minute in between. So let's do the first coat. Yeah, so let it dry for a minute and then spray a second coat on. So we'll let it dry. Okay, so I've left this fur coat for a first coat for a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm going to spray another coat on and then I think we'll let it dry for a bit before we start painting. Alright, so I've just finished priming up the calipers. So they've all got the grey, it's, it's a grey primer, it's, they've all been primed up, they're ready to go. So they're all ready to go, we're just going to let that sit for a bit, and if you didn't know already, it's an etch primer. Um, so it says to, to spray one coat on, and then leave for about a minute, and then spray another coat on. I left for a couple minutes just to be sure, so now I'm just going to let that um, dry because I don't want the paint, I want it to be completely dry before I start painting with the actual bronze color. So what I'm going to do at the moment is, if you remember in my last video, I plastic dipped my badges. Well, um, yeah, as you can see, it's not there anymore. I took it off. So it actually ended up getting really bad. Um, it poured down rain that night. So it actually washed, washed it out pretty much. So it went all bad. But also the front one wasn't that bad, but I decided I'm going to paint that bronze. So I've taken off the front as well. So that's just back to chrome. So we're going to take that off again. And I've actually got the proper tool that I took it off with last time. So it should be easy to get off now. And we're going to prep that and then paint that bronze as well. Okay, so again, take off two 10 mil. Two 10 mil bolts and Two 10 mil pins, I mean just pins. Okay, now that we got that off, we'll give it a bit of a clean up. Okay, so now we're just going to clean up the badge exactly like I've done uh, with the plastic dip. So we're going to get wax and grease remover again, we're going to wipe it down. Um, but then also I'm going to scratch it up with a uh, scuffing pad and then prime with a plastic adhesive primer. Okay, so it's been about an hour probably of letting the primer dry. Um, it's well, it's dry to the touch and it said on here 10 minutes is dry to the touch and then an hour is ready for respray. So yeah, it's been about an hour, it's nice and dry. So I think we're going to do our first coat. So what we got here is a bronze, it's just a bronze like acrylic paint, it's nothing special really. It's probably best to do, um, you can actually buy proper caliper paint which lasts up to 500, 500 degrees Celsius, which is good for breaks and things, um, but I couldn't get it in the bronze colour. Um, and I'm sort of sticking with bronze for this car. So I just went and bought normal paint. Hopefully that'll work. It should, it'll probably end up cracking later on, but then I can just do it again or whatever. So let's put our first coat on. Now I'm just going to do light coats as well um, for the first couple, just so it gets even coverage and I don't want any drips or anything on it. So I'm just going to do light coats the whole way around. Okay, now we'll let that dry for. Let the, okay, now we'll let that dry for about 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and do another coat. Now the front badges primer should be pretty good now, um, so we're going to put a couple of coats on that, and um, then we'll yeah do the exact same as the others, and just keep coating it with light coats so it doesn't uh, puddle up or get any drips or anything like that. So all we're going to do is give it a quick couple of light coats. Like that, 
I don't want to go too heavy because I don't want to drip. Um, I actually found with when I done the plastic dip, I done it a bit too heavy and I actually dripped a little bit. So I'm going to keep this on light and if I need to, I'll just go buy another can of paint or something. So we'll come back to that in 10 minutes or so and do our second coat. Alright, now we'll whack on the second coat. I'm a bit scared this turns to rose gold. Leave it for another 10. <coughs> Leave it for another 10 minutes. And we'll hit up the badge again. Okay, see how it goes. Okay, so now I've done three coats. I didn't show you the third coat just because I wanted to get it done. But the color it's actually coming out is, it's coming out of a bit more of a rose gold color which is a bit different, a bit, I guess, girlier, but I'm actually sort of liking it. So I reckon I might leave it. Um, I'll continue to do the rest of them, get them all good. Um, and then as for the badge, the front badge is looking a bit pink too, but if I really hate it, I'll leave it on there for a bit, I mean, and then if I really hate it, then I think I might just, I guess, redo this all again with a proper bronze. Um, which I thought the colour was bronze, but it turns out it's, the lid was wrong. Anyway, so I'm going to keep going with this. We'll go do our fourth coat, and then possibly a fifth. Um, but then I think it should be good. We'll let that dry for like an hour or so, and then we'll put everything back on. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I think I'm going to do one more coat. Um, I've done about four, so this will be the fifth coat, obviously. But um, I think this couple little spots that I have, I guess the paint hasn't been getting to. So I'm going to touch all them up. Um, and then go over it once again, and then we'll leave for an hour to let it completely dry um, And I think that should be it um, So I guess we'll start doing that. I'll do all the car again. I'll do the badge again, and I'll see you guys in an hour Okay, so about an hour has passed um, all the brake calipers are now dry um, This is how they look. I think they come out pretty well. They're nice and shiny nice and glossy um, Yeah, and again, I think it looks like rose gold so it's a little bit different to the bronze, but Let's see if I'll see if it grows on me or whatever. Um, so the front one, this front one is now done. That's nice and shiny. That's looking nice and good. And we're going to put that back on the car. So I'll put that on now. Okay, so we got the badge nice and done. It's looking good. We'll put that on now. So I'll be very careful because I don't want to scuff it. I'm just going to use a shop towel just to push it on. That looks good. I really like that. Mad. Okay, let's put the clips and stuff back in. Oh, that looks so good. Right, let's see how good it looks now. Oh. Dude, I think that looks sick. That looks so good. It's actually coming out a bit more bronze than I thought too. Yeah. That's sick. Okay, I'm really happy with that. That came out really well. Alright. Let's start taking off all the newspaper around the uh, calipers and see how they turned out as well. Let's get to it. Okay, now so just like the plastic, remember to be very careful around the paint. It could still be a little bit wet. It's not, it's been an hour, but it could just be a little bit touchy. So just pull it off very carefully. Okay, so I just finished taking all the newspaper off and they look really good. I'm really happy with them. So this is what, this is the finished product. So it's like a bronze, it's shiny, it's metallic, it's nice. I really like it. Looks heaps good. So I might put the wheel on just to show you what it looks like. Um, and that's about it. Where's the rattle gun car? Okay, so I've got all the wheels back on now. It's a bit, it's getting dark so you can't really see them, but all the wheels are back on. They're looking good. Yes. 
Okay, so I'm really happy how they turned out. Um, I think it looks awesome. Uh, I might redo the front badge of more bronze maybe one day if I don't like these. But I think it turned out pretty well. So my maiden and I are actually going to put the surprise on now. I'm not going to show it because it comes with instructions if you guys want to do it and plus we're on a bit of a time crunch. So I'm going to chuck it on and just show you guys what it looks like after. So we're going to go do that now. See you soon. Alright, so we're back at home, and if you can't already tell, it's the next day. Uh, last night just got a bit late and a bit dark, so I thought I might do, I guess, you call it the reveal, I'm guessing. Okay, we're going to do the reveal today. So I'm going to show you around the car, and then also the surprise we put on. We put that on last night. I'm really happy with it. I reckon it looks sick, and I hope you guys will too. It's nice and sunny, and I'm really happy how the colour turned out. I think it looks amazing on it, especially that front badge. That front badge really goes well with it, I think. Um, the brake color was good. Um, I've driven on it. I probably shouldn't have driven on it straight after, but they're holding up all right. I just didn't use my brakes as much. And then again, the surprise is still on there. So, so like I said, I'm really happy with the front of it. I think it come out heaps good. It looks good. It, the color looks good. It stands out. It's nice. I really like it. And it didn't get any like hairs or bumps in it or anything. So it's really smooth paint. I think the paint I used was a really good paint. Um, I saw I'd recommend that to other people if you guys want to know what it is just leave a comment down below um, So this is what the brake color turned out. This is the one that I done. This is the one I showed you I mean, so that's the color it turned out. I think it turned out pretty well besides my dirty rims forget about that Let's get rid of the dirt. I think it turned out really well. It's really like metallic color I really like how it's shiny and I think it will go good when I put black wheels and the bronze uh, lug nuts on there like I said yesterday so I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think they look amazing. And I don't actually think I'm gonna change them. I know I said I'd wanted the bronze a bit more, but I think I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think I'm gonna change it at all. Um, unless, you know, they start cracking or chipping or something like that, then maybe I'll go get another set of paint and just redo them so they look fresh again. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, I will be debadging the back soon if you didn't if you didn't know that already. I'm going to debadge the back, so there'll be another video later on and I'll I'll show you debadging, I'll show you how to do it, what I'm doing, stuff like that. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really excited for that. And I really love the colour that the car has, well, the calipers and the badge have turned out. Alright, so I think it's about time to show you what the surprise was. Alright, this is what it was. So I got a top sunshade for it, for the back, a rear sunshade, whatever they're called. At the moment it's just, I've just got some tape on it, which I'll actually take off now, but we just got, it's just a little black sunshade, a fair few Commodores and things have them. Um, they're reasonably cheap actually. I know that, like I went and picked this up from my local Honda dealers, like my local Holden dealership, sorry. Um, and it was about nearly the same price they wanted for it on eBay, so I thought I may as well get it from a local shop and then I have a bit more of a warranty on it, especially because it's a genuine Holden product. Um, so the adhesive works, you know, it's well, it's pretty easy to put on. I didn't worry about showing that last night because again, we had a time crunch and it's, it comes with instructions and things. So if you guys actually buy one, it's pretty easy to do. Um, but yeah, so I might take this tape off now because I think this adhesive bit, that was just lifting up a little bit. So we can take this off because I think that's pretty good now. Take this one off as well. Yeah, there we go. That's not coming off. That's sticking down nicely. That looks heaps good. Take that one off. Do I take this one off again? Perfect. That looks so good. That's not sticking up at all. Awesome. I'm not... I don't know if I want to remove the rear spoiler yet with it. Um, I know my friend said don't. He likes the look of it with with the um, sunshade on it, sorry, and the rear spoiler. So yeah, I'm not sure if I want to get rid of it or not. I'm sort of contemplating on getting rid of it and maybe putting a duck lip or having nothing. So actually, I want you guys, to comment down below if you want me to leave the spoiler or not. I don't know yet, so I'm undecided. So yeah, comment down below if you want me to leave the spoiler or comment if you don't want me to leave the spoiler, whatever. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed, I guess, seeing it all and I hope it might help you out if you guys ever want to do the colouring, I mean, paint the brake calipers or something like that. Um, it's very, it's pretty easy. It's just a lot, uh, really time consuming. It took me, I think I got there at like 10 o'clock. I stuffed around for a bit and then, but I didn't leave till like 
6, 6.30 or something at night. So it took me a fair while because I was letting the paint dry, you know, 10 minutes in between and the taping up and everything took a long time. That was so boring. But yeah, anyway, if you guys want to do it, go ahead, just give it a go. It's not that hard. Just make sure you have the right things. Watch the video, just check out what i done. Um, I think mine turned out really well. But actually, if you're going to paint the brake carpels with a, I guess a basic color, not such a standout color like this, um, get a caliper paint because it actually is made for them. And with your braking, uh, sorry, when you're braking, it creates the heat and the heat will actually melt or crack the paint and things like that. So this will eventually, this paint will start cracking because it's not a heat proof paint. Um, so if you can, get a caliper paint or some sort of heat protective paint. But if not, just go with this. You just might have to touch it up a bit later on. But again, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like the video, like the video. If you want to ask me any questions or anything about it, leave a comment down below. I'll, I'll see every single comment. I don't get that many, so I'll see them all. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.